what's going on everybody and in this video i will be talking about the loot digger set which i feel like this set has not gotten a lot of love and i wanted to cover a couple of things on this in this video i'm gonna do a couple of races and show you how many parts you get without it and then with it this is pretty important guys because not only will this pretty much be the best that you can have to grind whether it's score breaker nitro chemist fame magnet whatever that may be whatever part or set you're going after this is probably the best thing to have because you'll be getting double the parts from that said race which will pretty much make this half the time if your rng is pretty decent because we know the gold parts are rng uh not only that but this will also help you get more spare parts which will help you be able to be get better set of fixes stats on the nitro chemist parts that you have so this will be insanely helpful if you do that and not only having the set on this, you can also go over to your pilot here and head over to Icon Points and have everything on Gold Finder and Lucky as well to increase your chance of getting the parts you're looking for. So guys, getting right into this, why is there even a point of getting the Loot Digger set? I mean, most people probably already have the sets they want, but if you're looking to get those sets perfect for your vehicle, whether it's getting Frenetic or Pure on the Nitro Chemist, stuff like that, you can definitely go after the Loot Digger set to get this because you'll have more spare parts to get the said affixed stats on that actual part. Look at this part, you have to spend spare parts there and a little money to get the right affixed stat on the said part. But having more of each obviously helps, having more money will help with that, but spending a thousand spare parts on that, and you do that 20, 30 times, you're going to go through a lot of spare parts. I spent like 150,000 spare parts, guys. I was actually doing that when I was trying to upgrade the Nitro Chemist set on my Touring Car class, and I noticed, I was like, well, I really need to get this, and I spent like over a million dollars and over 150,000 spare parts, and if you have a lot of spare parts, it really won't matter, and you can actually go farm them much easier with having the Loot Digger set. I've been noticing this because a lot of people are wondering how to get more spare parts. Why spend all the money on it? Because let's be honest, a lot of people are probably trying to get more money in this game to get more cars they like. So why spend all that money on spare parts when you can just put a loot digger set in your car and go do some races? Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump right into the race at the end of the race anyway right now, showing you how many parts you get without the loot digger set. All right, guys, coming up on the final lap here on the sleeper. Now, I know I have been using this race a lot, but this race is insanely good for grinding parts just because it's really short and it's very simple. Um, if you're wondering, you can also use a Loot Digger set on pretty much any other class. I just think the street class is really good because the races are short and a lot of people use the street cars. So if you do have the set for this, you can use it on any car that you like. You can just jump in these races and complete it. So guys, I just completed the race there and you will now see what I actually get without the Loot Digger set. It's kind of insane how actually helpful this can be now. It does vary on the race. Sometimes you get a lot of parts without Loot Digger set and sometimes you don't get a lot. So this one, I did get four parts there. Which is actually pretty decent of a drop, because sometimes you only get two or even three. All right, before I jump into the race with the Loot Digger set, like I said, I did get four parts there. I only got one gold. If you're wondering to get gold parts, it'd be easier to do the race on Ace, which really is not as hard as people think it is. All you gotta do is put, if you have the all 280 parts, you'll be able to complete it pretty easily. So I only got four parts there, one gold. I You may even get like eight parts. Sometimes you may only get seven, you only get six. It depends what drops on the specific race, but having Loot Digger will give you a better chance of getting higher level parts, which you can get rid of for more spare parts, or just in general using the said parts that you may need for that set if you're going for that. A little bit of the race left, I figured I'd mention a couple things. So I did actually put the icon points on as well for Lucky and Gold Finder. Just to show you if you can get better luck getting the said gold parts with this. Now I do have a loot digger on this, like I said. Show you how many parts I get. I did get four previously in the last race. And on this one, it's pretty interesting because, well, you do get more. And this could be very helpful. Like I said, if you're deleting four or five gold parts every couple of races, that's going to be four or five K. It'll be much easier just to farm the race instead of spending all the money on the spare parts there. So if you're, do if you're doing this, it'd be definitely be a lot easier, in my opinion, to actually just do the races instead of spending all the money on the parts. Alright, so as you guys will see, this is with the Loot Digger set and some of my icon points on the Lucky and Gold Finder. You will see such a difference with the parts, guys. I'm telling you, if you deleted all these parts, you're looking at probably around almost eight or 9,000 in spare parts. I mean, that's kind of crazy. And if you're looking for said parts, you actually probably get a couple you need out of this. You have a way better chance of getting them. Pretty insane. And I'm going to show another race right now. Arriving at the end of this race. So this is the second race I said I was going to do. And well, I want to show you guys how many parts you get without the Loot Digger set. And I have no points on the icon thing as well. So I will not get any extra luck on getting the said part. So here is the end of the race here. Show you how many parts I will get from this without the Loot Digger set, guys. It's actually pretty crazy to me on how many parts you actually can get. Now this race is pretty much around the same as a sleeper. So as you'll see there, I did get four parts again from this race. So a couple things I wanted to mention. You could 
pretty much do any of the races that you want to. But on Ace, guys, I recommend just doing the sleeper, probably because it's the easiest. Some of these other races can be kind of annoying. I know some of the races can be, uh, well, frustrating at times. So I recommend just doing the sleeper. But this is with the full loot digger set with my icon points on Gold Finder and Lucky. So guys, here is how many parts I get with this set active. So as you guys will see right here, look, at this is actually kind of crazy, guys. This is with the Loot Digger set. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. Look how many parts you got. Now, if you have all the sets you need, you could just delete them all, which will help you get more spare parts. But if you do this on every race, guys, you have the Loot Digger active, you will be getting a ton of parts every single race completion, which is insane. To end the video, I'm going to delete all these parts to show you how many spare parts I get from that single race. All right, guys, getting right into it. So let's delete all these parts, guys, and see how many spare parts we get. Now, like I said, this does vary on what you get. You could get full gold parts, guys. I actually completed a hyper race where I got, like, 10 gold parts from one race, which is pretty crazy. So deleting the parts here, guys, you'll notice that, well, you get 400 for purple, 200 for blue, and then finally 100 for green, and then you get 1,000 per gold part, which is pretty crazy. So if you get a lot of gold parts, you will get a lot of spare parts as well. So deleting these up here, you will notice there. Deleting them, I got 2,000 there. Deleting these, an extra 400 per each. You could delete these as well. Sometimes you guys might even get parts that were better than the ones you had before, and you could just activate those or use those or use the affixes stats on those to make them better. So like I said, this is from one little race, guys. And look how many spare parts you actually got there. Kind of crazy. I mean, it's not 5 to 6K is not a lot, but it does add up if you do a bunch of races. It's kind of crazy, guys. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys want me to run a hypercar type video like this, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching.